Hi guys, very good evening. Today we are going to cover another very important test route for Cheatham Hill. I will keep guiding you straight wise. So test center is on our left hand side. We are on Alder Glen Road and turning left onto Waterloo Road. This test route is also about just six miles radius. And there are different kinds of variations and different turnings, few one-way streets. Most of the time, learner driver fail on them one-way streets. I will fully guide you what you need to do there. So once you know what you need to do, Turn how left. to deal with the situation, it'll be easy for you to pass. So as soon as we just come out from test center, we turn left onto Aldergren Road and then turn left onto Waterloo Road and then go straight through traffic lights. It's raining, so but it will not classed as a bad weather. Bad weather means when conditions are really not good. Like if there's any water on the surface, which can affect your brakes or something like that. If that is not the case, then you're gonna take it as a normal. So we will not take it as a bad weather. So because of this little rain, we will not bother distance and everything. So the distance will be remain same like one second and two second. But if there's too much rain where you can see water on the road and then you can double the distance. But in this rain, no need to drive slow or very slow, just otherwise examiner will penalize you because condition is not that bad. Just bear in mind. So as soon as you come on this Waterloo Road, examiner will tell you to pull up on the left. So this is a place where you need to pull up. So remember to stop, pull up just before this bus stop on your left hand side. Never ever pull up on the bus stop until unless examiner wants you to stop. After 300 yards, turn right, then turn right. So when navigation is saying turn right and then turn right again, so first turn right is not a right, she is misguiding. So better to keep your car near the center white line and turn right at the lights only. So we're gonna give indication after this bend. Turn right, then turn right. So as soon as I was here, my steering turn back to right. normal, then I'm gonna stay indicator right because if my steering come back so my indication can cancel so bear in mind if you give an indication and indication goes cancel by some by somehow so you need to indicate again so same again there are two park cars already in the junction so I'm gonna stop behind so remember if you are the third car in the junction so don't cross the traffic lights otherwise you will stuck in middle <clears throat> so from waterloo road we are going on to bury new road now turning right So there's no filter light for me. So what I will do when traffic light goes green, I will stop just in the middle of the junction. And as soon as I got the opportunity, I go. Otherwise I will wait for oncoming traffic. Sometime oncoming traffic will keep coming until traffic light goes red. When traffic light will go red, I will move before other side of the traffic start moving. So we're gonna go in the middle, somewhere here on this yellow junction box. And I will wait for oncoming traffic or for my opportunity. Looks like there's opportunity for me after this magenta color car. So let me just turn right now. Before green car, I can move. So 
So we are on a very new road at the moment and about three quarter of a mile we're gonna go left. So very new road is 30 miles, bear in mind this is 30 miles road. We are going straight as we're going towards Bury. At the moment, we are not turning left at the lights. So two lane going straight. So you keep always left and lane until unless you are turning right. is on our left hand side we are on a very new road going straight towards Bury. so at this point road is going to join so i'm going to check center on the right mirror in case somebody overtaking me we don't need indication here but if some you see there are few cars behind then you are all right to touch the indicator because arrow are outwards so you've got the priority 300 here. yards turn left so we're gonna go next left, so about nearly 100, 120 yards. I'm gonna check center in the left mirror. Then I indicated left. And turn left. Bear in mind, left turnings are quite tight turning. Never try to drive fast when you're turning left. So always slow down and turn left closer to this center white line. Otherwise you may hit the curb. These are bumpy roads, just ignore this bumpy road. Bear in mind we are in Manchester, Greater Manchester. So I hope you will ignore these roads. My camera is shaking, but just ignore it, please. We are on a Wellington Street West at the moment. And taking next After right. 100 yards, turn right. Then so, take the third left. There's no white line in the middle, so I will pretend there's a center white turn line. Turn right. Then, then gonna take turn the right. third left. Scoville Street. And then I'm going to turn left after this parked van. Onto Great Clove Street. Center turn left. left. Mirror, indicator left. Keep my car about a meter away from the curb. Look right, look left, look right again. Nobody coming, so I'm all right to proceed. Yards, After go right. 300 yards, turn right. So it's mean at the lights we are turning right onto Great Cheatham Street West. So we're on Great Groves Street, turning right onto Great Cheatham Street West. Turn right. So we're gonna stop just before this cycle box. Anyway, here. Bear in mind one thing, whenever you are waiting on a tra red traffic light, better to keep yourself ready all the time. Make sure you're in a first gear. Sometimes we are coming third gear and stop. And when we try to go, we may in a wrong lane. We may be in a wrong gear, I mean. And then you may stall the car. So better to make sure you're in a first gear. And found the bite point very nicely. Always take your time, no need to rush. Because of rush, you know, we can stall. So better to take your time. 
So I'm going to go on a buy point, start moving. No one else is coming to this side, so I'm alright to turn right now. Cheatham Street West is 30 miles and soon we will turn left onto Selford, Seaford Road, not Selford, my apology, Seaford Road and whenever you see any road work going on you need to be very cautious and take extra care. I'm gonna stop behind this GTI where I can see tiles in the tarmac. We will not go too close to the car in front. We need at least to see at least tires and the tar back. Why we park this much away? So according to your book, we park this much away in case if that car in front broken down so we have reasonable room to move over and swing around and if anybody hit us from the back so we cannot go in the car in front so that is why we always stop after 300 yards turn left so we are on great cheatham street west i will turn left after this garage onto seaford road turn left Signal left. And bear in mind when you come at this point, examiner may 99% chances he may tell you to pull up on the left. So after this junction, you can pull up on the left here. And when you're moving off, so don't forget to check all your blind spots before moving off. We are turning left. So I'm holding my signal. I'm not signaling. I will signal after this junction. So checking send on the left mirror. Indicator left. Turn left. Of the car. Gas. Let the car roll. And stop behind the taxi where I can see tires and the tarmac. Then again, be ready, keep your car in first gear, make sure you are in a first gear. Always, whenever you stop, make sure you are in a first gear. If you are in an automatic car, you know you are in D anyway. But if you are in a manual car, you need to make sure again and again, whenever you pull up, make sure your car is in first gear before you move off. We are on a Frederick Road and we turn right onto Lower Broughton Road. After 300 yards, turn right. So this is also 30 miles and we're going to turn right onto Lower Broughton Road and that is also 30 miles. So because we're going right, so what I will do, I'll keep my car near center white line just before the traffic light, checking center turn right, right. indicator right and I will see for opportunity. So I'm going to stop here. So, see, I could go in amber light, but the thing is, if I can stop comfortably, I have to stop on amber light. But if I am too close and I'm looking up and traffic light is changing, then I'm not stopping, then I will go because that will be point of no return. If you stop when you are too close and traffic light is changing, that can be dangerous for driver behind and examiner can penalize you for that. So don't stop when you are too close. But when you are comfortably you can stop, then you have to stop. Otherwise that amber light will consider as a red light and then examiner will fail you for that. I hope you understand what I mean. If you don't, you can rewind the video and see what I said again. So I'm waiting here until my filter line light goes green.
so I'm going to make aim to go after this van so I'm going to start moving now as soon van go I'm going so we are on a lower Broughton Road at the moment and this is 30 miles bear in mind this is 30 miles okay guys this is the point where you need to have a very good eye on this video because this is where mostly learner drivers they fail bear one principle in your mind if you are in a one-way street you're going right at the end you will keep right from the beginning After 300 and if you're going left you will keep left. left at the beginning from the beginning so this road you are following the road if you go straight that will be no entry so you're not going straight you're following the road to the left you will clearly see there's no entry right in front of you you can see there Turn left. but you can see arrow on the road it means you are following road to the left so bear you bear left and see these are two blue arrows on both edge of the road it means this is one-way street from this point if examiner say go right at the lights so you will move over now right hand lane and turn right at the lights but that will not be the case very little chances after will take you right from here yards, turn but right. most of the time then examiner will take you straight road, and it right. is good it is red light so i can explain you better so for example if you're going right you should be in a lane where the red car is on my right hand side but because we are not turning right from here we're going straight and follow the road and turn right at the end that is where mostly learner driver they fail because there are two giveaways left giveaway is for going left and right hand side giveaway is for going right so what i will do as soon traffic light goes green i will go straight into the right hand lane like this no need for indication just come to the right hand lane here if you're given indication no problem turn right but, then but at if the you're end not given road, you're already in your lane right. no bro bother so when you're coming at this point let me stop here to explain you there's no car behind so i can park right. here then so many taxi drivers road, or sometimes few left. people they park at this point what driver they do what learner driver they do they move over to the left hand lane and then they turn right from left side that is where they fail so better to keep your car right hand side when you're going right on a one-way street so you can see let me stop here to show you these two giveaways see there are two triangle on the road so right triangle we're going right we keep right hand lane if you're going left you keep left hand lane that is where so many learner driver fail so bear in mind when you are coming this alexandria street you need to keep your car right hand lane if you don't understand you can rewind video and see again what i said so going right so this is one way street again but examiner will say take you left if he say go right so look on the road there are two arrows you need to keep your car right hand lane for turning right so remember this is very crucial so you need to remember this we're going left so it's a quite open junction i can see nobody coming so no need to stop and carry on i hope you understand one way system if you don't understand one way system rewind the video and watch again or otherwise you can leave me a feedback i will answer your question We are on a Blackfriars Road at the moment, going towards town centre side. This test route is very important, very very important test route. If your time, your test is on a quiet time, then very much possible high chances examiner can bring you here. Like if your test is after nine o'clock, ten o'clock, eleven o'clock. After three hundred yards, this turn is very left, much possible test then route. Then ahead, keep left. See, these were the variations I was saying because sometimes there are one-way streets, there are two one-way streets we deal, there are a few bends on our cycle lane on our left-hand side. Okay, when we are going left, left here, so because there's a cycle ahead. lane on our left-hand side, left. we signal left, but make sure there's no cyclist. So make sure again, check twice, thrice before coming back to lane and turn left here. Just have a quick glance on the right-hand side, maybe somebody coming. So we are on a train tree way. We're going towards Ahead. back to the test Keep center. Left. 
test center is just over one mile from these points but looks like too far from here okay This road will split into three, so we keep our car in middle lane. Remember, on this Trinity Way, we will keep our car in middle lane because we're not going left. So remember, after 400 where this yards, arena car park is, left. keep your car in middle lane. Domino Pizza will be your on your right hand side. Keep your car in the middle lane. Don't keep your car left lane because left lane will just go left, and we are not going left at this point. See, there are three lanes, two going straight, one going left, so we're gonna keep our car in middle lane here. At the second traffic lights, we're gonna go left as we're going back to the test center. Onto New Bridge Street. After 100 yards, bear left. So mirror bear left. left. Come onto this slip road. Once we are on this slip road, we can cancel our indicator. If you leave it on, even then, no problem. But I mostly cancel because I don't like. Because there's one more. Yeah, it is better to cancel the signal because there's one more turning before the light. So that can be misleading of the road users. So remember these are two lanes. I'm gonna move over to the right hand lane. If there's any obstruction, but bus just moved off, so I'm gonna keep my car left hand lane. Two lane going straight, always keep your car in left hand lane until unless you are overtaking somebody. I will not go too close to the bus and I will keep my car a little bit to the right hand side so bus driver can see me in his side mirror. If I go too close to the bus, bus driver won't be able to see me and I will not be able to see in front as well. So better to keep more distance with the big vehicle. After so 400 mirror, yards, right. turn nobody, left. So I'm going to overtake the bus, cancel indicator, check mirror, signal left. I'm gonna come back in my lane when I see bus in my center mirror. So bear in mind, whenever you're overtaking any object, don't come back until unless you make sure you have seen him in your center in the side mirror. If you try to come quickly back, that can be disastrous. You may hit your back Turn side left. of the car to the object. So going left here. So from Gray, Cheetah Mill Road, we are turning left onto Broughton Street. Blue lights are coming behind, but there's a room on my right hand side, so I will not bother, I will just wait. I will let this ambulance go, and then I will proceed according to the situation. Bear in mind, when you see any blue lights coming, any emergency vehicles coming behind, just leave room for him, let him go, and then you go. Don't put yourself into danger, because sometimes few drivers, what they do, they go on pavement and they try to, they go panic. So you need to make sensibly little room for the emergency vehicle, and that's enough for you. No need to exaggerate your action. So After soon we're gonna go right yards, onto turn Cheetwood right, Road. Then turn Mirror, right. Signal right. My apology to the next right. Yep. So we are turning right onto Cheetwood Road. Turn right. Then turn right. So 
So we are on a Chitru Road at the moment and we're going to turn right on the Allison Street. Yards, turn right. Then, at the end of the road, turn left. Turn right. Then, at the end of the road, turn left. This Allison Street is safe heaven for learner drivers. Turn left. Because all learner drivers, they start learning their ABC from this place. And if you are learning with your parents, you are all right to come here. That is where we do as well. You can see one of my colleagues is training here. So we teach ABC here like very basics, junctions, moving off, stopping. We do all kind of subjects here. So when we see our pupil is all right to drive now, then we take him. At the end of the road, turn left. Then you have reached your destination. Okay, so we are turning left at the end. Back onto Elizabeth Street. So checking mirror signal left. So we're gonna stop where I can see Turn the tire and the tarmac then of the car in you front. you have reached your destination. Well done, Mr. Impulse Driving School. Okay, looking right after this black Renault, I'm all right to move off, but I will see any pedestrian. Make sure don't just come on the road without looking pedestrian crossing. This pedestrian crossing is a killer. Remember, sometime when test starts, within first five minutes, this, because of these after pedestrian crossings, yards, so many learners you have reached your destination. So whenever you see pedestrian crossing, ease of the gas and look both edges you have of reached the your destination. pedestrian crossing. There may be somebody stood with the prom. So you need to be very careful. So we're going right at the lights. We are on Elizabeth Street, turning right onto Waterloo Road, and then we turn right towards Test Center. So it means we are taking, like, turning like right and right. So this is not easy for if on a busy time, nobody coming other side. I'm turning right. Make sure when you turn right here, keep your car near the center white line as I'm keeping, and turn right. Uh, I think this gentleman stop in a keep clear position. So. I'm all right to turn before the big 4x4 four four coming close to me. Here we go, guys. We are back to test center now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Watch this video two, three times. If you know the area, it is very easy for you to pass your test. Thank you very much for watching. If I miss anything or is there any question, you can leave me a feedback. I will definitely answer your question. Thank you very much for watching.